doesn't matter where the knife is, if it's at my groin. Now, we're going to do this one because I, I, uh, I mentioned it in Defense Against the Most Common Weapons Attack. What happens if the knife is at your groin from behind? Okay? He's got it right between my legs and he's got me pinned here. Okay? And he's asking me for my money. Now, the way we did it last time is we were at an Instabank. Okay? So if I'm at an Instabank and this is where the counter is, okay, what I want to do is I'm going to lean forward. Okay? Watch my legs. Put the knife in my groin. If it's here, which way does the knife have to go to kill me or to really severely do a lot of damage? Up or to the side? Okay. All right, man. It feels really good. Thanks. Can you do it one more time? Okay, so up or to the side. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step forward one leg, kind of like I'm saying, please, 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 man, don't hurt me, what do you want? And I'm gonna put my hands either on the wall or on the Instabank machine or on whatever. If there's nothing in front of me, I'm just gonna angle forward and go, okay, 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 relax. What do you want, man? Take it easy. Now what I did is I created space between here and here, allowing space for the knife to move, okay? Same thing I did with my back, cut me when I move. If I turn here, my legs are doing most of the parrying, okay? So cut me again, just stab me right up the, the crotch. So I do this, all he did was he maybe cut a slab of my ass cheek off. And that's okay with me, because I'd rather lose a part of my ass than my groin, okay? So again, I step forward, my hands really low now, whoa, relax. Now, as I turn, I'm going to do this really slowly, okay? Can you zoom around here, Smith? Okay? Now, as I angle off, now look, this leg, my right leg, is going to turn and parry the knife, okay? So again, I'm talking, I just angle and turn, all right? So again, turn, angle. Now, as I do this, my hand, is gonna work with me at the same time. Boom. Trap, once I've done this, step through, straight through, like in a semi-tackle or clinch. And as you're clinching, you're going, again, primary targets now. Okay, eyes, throat, so on and so forth. Let's do it from this angle. He's got the knife, I step off this way, forward. Whoa, 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 okay, relax. Or I put my hands on the Instabank machine, pleading like, I'm in an, in an arrest situation, okay? So I'm talking to him and go, what do you want? Now, as I start to angle here, I've parried the knife now, and he's going through towards my, my ass more than anything else if he's gonna cut anything, if, okay? As I've done this, no, just leave your hand where it is. As I've done this, this hand here gets underneath, okay? Jams, traps, tactile sensei, parries. As I do this, my energy is still going forward, boom. Right in and clinch. As I've clinched, look at the position we're in, look at the position he's in now, okay? Even if his other arm wasn't there, I still got him crossed over. He's not gonna be able to pull his knife out or do anything. And then I go right away, closest weapon, the closest target, primary targets. So if you do it really quickly, again, no consent, you ask your partner, cut me the second I move. He puts the knife, oh, what do you want, man? Okay, man, take yeah, it out. Take the cash out. It's in my pocket. Okay, so here we are. This is a little faster, a little quicker. Jam through. I'm still on my feet. We drop. Now, you notice I didn't go to the ground. He did. I didn't let myself fall and get into this thing here, and you know, I don't want to go on the ground. I want to stay on my feet the whole time. Okay? The principle is the same. Regardless of where the knife is in a static attack on your body, doesn't make a difference. Clear your body, stabilize the weapon hand, neutralize the attacker as soon as you can. Now, 